Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Good morning, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Well, today's video is Whip Caddy Wednesday. That means I get to show off all the beautiful projects that are in your carts um, in today's video. Um, all you gotta do, if you're new to this and you haven't seen this type of video, all you have to do is go to my Facebook group page and um, it's free to join, um, you know, the group. Just post pictures of what's in your three-tier cart, and I will be so excited to be able to showcase it in on my Wednesday videos. Now, some of you can email me as well. My email is in the description box below, so you can always do that too um, if you don't do Facebook, so uh, that'll work as well. Um, yeah, so uh, grab you a cup of coffee, grab you something to drink. Today, I am drinking Starbucks vanilla flavored coffee. Mm, and it is so good. And it just makes the house smell so good. This coffee was it. actually given to me by one of you yarny friends. Um, and I think it was for my birthday. But, mm, it is so good. Mm, I love this. Okay, so uh, before I get into what all I am I'm working on, Let's go ahead and take a look at what you guys are working on. Okay, so here we have Lisa's cart. She says on the top cart, she has cotton yarn, headphones, and a dragon guardian. And on the second shelf, hooks, stitch markers, front of shirt, bottom shelf, a sweater for her, and sweaters for Christmas for her great granddaughters. Oh, that sounds so cool, Lisa. Okay, so now we have Debbie's. She says that this is her whip caddy, and on the top is a heart granny square blanket that she's working on along with some crochet knitting tools. Second shelf is an autumn doll for her granddaughter. And the third is some notebooks of patterns and some squares for her blanket. And she said her cart is a hot mess, but she wanted to share it anyway. I think your cart looks fabulous, Debbie. Okay, so here we have Melinda's cart. And she says on the top shelf on the left is the start of her first baby sweater. And she's never made long sleeves before. Uh, you're going to do just fine, Melinda. It's going to be great. Um, on the right is a creative grandma headband. She said that she thinks it looks like candy corn. That's funny. <laughs> on the second shelf is a flower washcloth, and she's hoping to have enough yarn to make a pot holder to match it, and she's sending that off to a friend in West Virginia. Oh, that is one lucky friend, Melinda. Now, here we have Patsy's cart. Patsy, that is a sweet-looking blanket that you've got on there. Oh my gosh, now you've given me some ideas of what to do with some of my blankets by having those little flowers on there. That is so cute. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so now we have my sister Tanya. Um, she says that on the top shelf, she has all her supplies, snacks, and etc. cetera. Uh, the middle shelf, she's finishing the last row of the Ugly Throw, which I have a tutorial for that. I'll leave a link below. Uh, the bottom shelf, she said she's made a large basket to put her new project in, and she's getting a head start on her Christmas decor. Your card is always so neat, Tanya. So here we have Roxanne's card. She says that the top is always her crochet and knitting paraphernalia, and the middle tray holds a crocheted football hat by Repeat Crafter Me, and she knit a pair of mittens to match. Uh, she has the beginnings of Lily the Christmas Self from YouTube, but the pattern had no name to complement them. The bottom tray has crochet dishcloths, an easy sleeveless shell by CashmereDandelion.com, um, and she color controlled Caron Cotton Cake in the colorway by Hydrania. Last but not least is a Hippo Amigurumi by Stringy Ding Ding. Uh, she made the teeth different, and this is her second amigurumi that she's made, and she thinks that she did okay, and it looks fabulous to me. <laughs> I think you did wonderful. Isn't that just wonderful? I love those, and um, I know you guys do too. They help inspire me, and they help inspire others because when they're posted and someone sees something that looks really cool on there, they'll ask questions like, what yarn are you using? Where did you get that pattern? So... Um, this is your way, by posting that, this is your way of being able to um, help, you know, inspire others. So, um, yeah, just keep it up. <laughs> okay, uh, let me show you what's on mine. Uh, one thing I'm working on, well, one thing that I did finish, and it was a few weeks back, and um, I'm just now being able to show this to you guys, but I guess it was considered, or I'm considering this a flop. 
So I'm probably going to take the yarn back out and do something else with the yarn. But I'll show you. I'm very disappointed in this kit. Okay, this was this Mary Maxim. It's their monthly kit. And um, to make this, and I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've been trying to keep my kits made up that I get. And um, so I was excited that I was going to be doing this. But the yarn that they sent me is this right here. Yeah, looks nothing like that. So I went ahead and used my own yarn that is like this because that's what they sent me, but in a different color. And I'll show you, um, I used two of them. There, I used two of these. And um, it's a flop. That's all I got to say, it's a flop. Nothing, there you go. And this is it. That's it. And no matter what I did, it, I mean, this is all the yarn they sent me. Crazy, isn't it? I'm like, well, what do I do with this? It, it's not even worth doing anything with. So, unless I read something wrong on the pattern, I don't know, but yeah. Um, so this is going to be frogged and turned into something else. And so this is what I had left and I decided to keep it on here um, and I'll just frog this. So let me show you this video clip of two necklaces that I had received from uh, one from each or one from two of my great nieces. And this is one of them. And this one was from Amber. Thank you so much, Amber. I love you. And um, her and her girls had stopped by and surprised me with this and some groceries. So let me show you guys um, the two necklaces that I've received here within the last week or so. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you these two necklaces that I received from two of my great nieces. Um, I know this isn't crochet, but um, I wanted to give those wonderful girls a huge shout out. Uh, this meant so much to me. This gold one right here, this is from my great niece, Ashley, and um, she had actually her and her mom and them had gotten together and brought over a, a very big Cracker Barrel meal for me. And I appreciate that so much, but they also brought this little necklace for me and I just thought it was just so sweet and thoughtful. And then this one here is from my great niece, uh, Amber, and her and her girls had bought brought over a load of groceries. And um, I just want to give these two wonderful great nieces a shout out and let you guys know that I love you both so much and I love your families and I'm so proud of everything that y'all do. And um, yeah, there they are. They just mean so much to me. Anyway, I just wanted to give them a shout out in my video. Love you girls. I will treasure those necklaces, girls. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next thing I've got going is I am making a shawl in the ball shawlette. This is my own pattern. And so um, I'm making this and I'm actually going to put this up for sale on Etsy. Um, I typically don't sell stuff on Etsy, just patterns, but I'm going to. I'm going to try to make a few shawlettes um, and see about selling them. But here's what I've got so far. I really don't like too much left because, you know, shawlettes don't need to be too big. I'm using an H hook, a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. Um, I was really hoping I would have more of this color in it, but I've got more of that. So, since I'm almost done with this, I think there may be enough to go ahead and do a second one. And if it is, then it'll be have more of these colors, and then this one will have more of these colors. But all you do is on shawlettes. I love shawlettes. I wear them all winter. Um, I just tie this in the back like this. Really, this could be done. And then I take these strings right here, or the ends right here, and I tuck them under. And depending on if there's enough room or not, I actually take a little rubber band, not a rubber band, but a ponytail holder. And I... Um, hold them together so that they, they don't slip out like they're doing right now. They stay nice and tucked. And um, this, <laughs> this 
this is the way I wear it. And I have like a jacket or something, a coat or, you know, something like that over it. Cardigan usually and, um, yeah, look at these colors coming up. And that's it. Just like that. I love these. I have several of these myself that um, I just treasure. Anyway, and I thought, well, I think I'm going to sell some of these on Etsy. Maybe make one here and there and um, see how that goes. Because I, I do have, um, I think, maybe three more skeins of some the Charlotte Ball Charlotte in different colors. So I may go ahead and use them up for some of these. <laughs> so be looking, be sure and be looking for that in my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing this. Okay, so I have a tip. This is actually for my sister, Tammy. She, um, I got this from her. When you're working on a project, and so when you're working on a project like this, and this is your stitch, and you're fixing to put it up, you take your stitch marker and put it in the stitch in the hole, rather, of the loop, <laughs> pull the yarn down, and then I just attach it somewhere close <laughs> on the project. And then you this can pull, you can, you know, do whatever, and it's not going to come out, your stitch. So I love that. Thank you, Tanya. This was from her, that idea. And I have been doing it ever since, and I love it. So hopefully that will help you. Hopefully that will help you guys as well. All right, guys. So the next thing that I have is the doll outfit, and um, I am planning on making this in a 14.5 inch doll as well for the Welly Wishers. Um, here's the back side. That's all I've got done so far. I mean, that was a lot. <laughs> um, getting it all written out and all that stuff. So um, my testers, um, this will be coming to you pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with her yet as far as like any accessories. So this is all I've got. I don't have her shoes yet and anything for her hair or purse or anything like that. I don't, I'm really not even sure what I'm going to do um, exactly. But I know that I've got this much and um, it'll come to me. When it does, I'll put it together. <laughs> but uh, be sure and look for this pattern pretty soon. So my Etsy shop name is Adoring Doll Clothes. It's not... Pamela's Adoring Crochet. It's Adoring Doll Clothes because um, it's mostly all doll clothes patterns. I do have my wearable patterns on there, um, but it is mostly all doll clothes. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I was excited to show this to you guys. And um, this is actually called Linda's Lilac Outfit. So um, I named this after my oldest sister, Linda. Um, Thanks, Linda, for everything that you've done for me lately. Um, I love you and I appreciate that. So the yarn I'm using with that is just Big Twist. Just, um, I think this is, might be lavender, lilac. This is lilac and white. It's just Big Twist yarn. <laughs> hey guys, let's do our 365 days of prayer. Sadness, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. That's 1 Peter 5, 7. Gracious God, I come to you with my whole heart today. I don't want to hold anything back from you. Here are the worries that have been running around the track of my mind. They have worn me down, and I don't know what to do with them. Only you see the depth of feeling in my heart. Here is the sadness that has been lining my heart. Come and comfort me as only you can and bring relief. Let the healing salve of your presence take away the sting of grief. I know that you care for me. God, bring life to the parts that I don't even know how to name. I will not stop turning to you because it's only in you that I find the reprieve my way down soul longs for. Take my anxiety and remove it from me. Bring the rest that only you can, and I will live another day singing your praises. Who is like you, Lord? What weighty emotions can you offer God today? Well, I know I needed this today, guys. I'm sure there's quite a few of you out there that did as well. So, thank you, Lord, for your word. Guys, um, that's all that I have for this video. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone. I'm still receiving cards and things like that in, um, in the mail. And I just want to tell you how appreciative I am of that and how... Um, uplifting and, and how that's helping me get through life. <laughs> Just reading those 
cards from you guys. And um, I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate that. Um, so um, I'm going to, I did get a big, huge box of Happy Mail. And there's some stuff in there for me and some stuff in there for my sister Tanya. So I will show that. Um, hopefully I'll get to show that this week for you guys. I'm very excited to show that. There's some really cool stuff in it. So anyway, that's all that I have. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.